Okay, try it again. Okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a regular meeting of the Sunderland Board uh, Select Board. It's uh, Monday, May 1st, 2023. We're called to order at uh, 640. Um, pretty short agenda tonight. First thing is we have the minutes of uh, April 24th. Motion? I motion we accept the minutes of April 24th. Seconded. We have a motion made and seconded to accept the minutes of April 24th. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? 3 0, Jeff. Next up is the uh, um, acceptance of the resignation of Bob Hearn from the South County EMS Board of, o Board of Oversight. I motion we accept um, Bob Hearn's. Resignation from the South County Board of Oversight. Seconded. Uh, we have a motion made and second. Discussion. I just like to add that we'd like to accept it with regrets and and to thank Bobby um, for his leadership that through the formation of the South County EMS. It was through Bobby, um, Gary Stone, Matt Russo. Mark Gilmore and others that that we have the South County. Um, Bobby fought for it along with Mary Ellen. They were in, instrumental. Um, we I can say without reservations that if it wasn't for Bob Hearn, Mary Ellen, and those four men to people, we would not have South County EMS right now. So Bobby, thank you, and we will accept with a vote of zero three zero your resignation so you can uh, continue on. So thank you, Bobby, for your service. Next up is the review of town meeting this year. Crystal, thoughts? I thought it went well. We didn't have, you know, a lot of people with huge issues or anything, so the questions were all valid questions. And Good. Nathaniel? Um, as my first one on that side of the table, I think it went pretty well. I was happy with uh, the level of involvement from the, the members of the town. I was happy that the board and the finance committee had the answers to everyone's questions and that the votes went the way we were hoping it would. So, very happy all around. A um, couple comments I, I would like to, to share is that um, I, I, I think the hardest thing and in the audience tonight, we have Margaret and Scott Bergeron and Margaret Nardowitz, and they will tell you how hard the board prepared for town meeting so that when we were at the meeting, we could answer all the questions and not have a blank look on our face. 95% we accomplished that. Um, Sometimes the other five percent usually we couldn't hear the question because at that time we didn't have very good um, audio. Um, but I, I guess the, the the one thing and the thing you 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 started when and, you know you did say it's important that when the a question is asked that the the people at the front and the, the town clerk will tell you that at that point Wendy will tell you that the people, the select board, for the most part, are, is window dressing. It's really the moderator's meeting, the town clerk is the clerk, and, and they run the meeting, and that the members of the, the residents of the town, it's their meeting. So you need four no, things. Yeah, no, I, I would disagree. You can't have a town meeting without a moderator and a town clerk. There's four things that you need. You need a moderator. You need a town clerk, you need a warrant, and you need the residents. Nothing about having a board of a select board. We have a zero quorum. But this is like old times. Arguing with a town clerk is just. <laughs> 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 but but I, certainly, I, the, I can't the tell you the amount of time that we've that argued with a town part. clerk. But um, but it's right, and and, and I, I think it it it's it's important. That we all the, the board always has to be prepared for town meeting to answer those questions, and and that and that's important. That's what we that's what we strive to do. We we strive to ask. Um, 
I, I thought, I, I would suggest that next year when we get to the um, budget questions, I would, I would suggest that there's a presentation made about the budget. There's a lot of work that goes into, there's months and months and months of work, not by just the select board, but by department heads, the town administrator, Jeff pull, pulls out his hair trying to make all the numbers right, right up. <laughs> right. Uh, we, it was like after our last meeting and something was said at, about the budget and we go downstairs and, and 20 minutes after the meeting, Jeff is still looking at his spreadsheet trying to find out where that number came from. So just so, so, so people know there's a lot, there's a lot that goes into a budget. And, and I, I think it's, it's, it's important that, there, that, that some of that information is shared. But we had a big, we had a big thing this year. We went to increase from 60 to 65%. It was the first time probably since the 19, the late 1990s, 2000, where we, where we really added a position. Um, and that, in that position, go ahead. We haven't, we've changed job titles, but in the 80s, we had an administrative assistant and a secretary. So we changed to a town administrator and an administrative assistant. But no extra person has been here since. I mean, before, and you're explaining it, before and you're explaining Richard it right. Bump and, right. Um, so, so many towns, our size, larger, and particularly smaller, and Myra can attest to this, will have assistant town clerks or assist, and, and not just in name. So Jeff is the assistant treasurer. Well, Jeff's the assistant treasurer because we found through when Margaret was town administrator that if something happens to the treasurer, you need an appointed assistant treasurer to make certain things happen. And, and so we don't have an assistant function, functioning treasurer. We don't have a functioning assistant accountant. We don't have uh, any backup inside the town hall. So if, if, if Cindy is sick or, or Wendy can't come in, that people can readily go in. So one of the things that we added, we added part-time position that this year um, and, and but it would have been nice to talk to people more in depth about why why that's happened, so so that people understand. And we had a conversation. And we struggled, and we struggled with how do we make it fit within the budget. I I think the the school budget with the elementary school, they added a new position in the in, in the the bud, in the thing. Again, it, it'd be understanding why people should know, so it doesn't come by a surprise someday. Like, well, when it is happened, well. So we need to, I think we can, we could do a better job of that. So just, we need to be able to talk about that so that everybody knows. I, and, and finally about the town meeting, and this is something that goes to the town, the town, the, our town council, who's actually a senior partner in the K&P law firm, which is a statewide, has two thirds probably of the towns in the state of Massachusetts, and he still comes to Sunderland, um, but he, after the meeting, he just, he wanted to say, you know, Sunderland is a, you know, a unique community. We all kind of know that, but, but he said, no, in all seriousness, Sunderland is one of the few commit communities that, that people respect one another, they respect one another's ideas, and they have, uh, um, they have conversations. And he says, believe it or not, most of the towns today, that is not the norm. So that, that reflects the quality of people that we have in our town. And I'd like to thank all those residents for that, that we can still talk to one another. That's really important. Jeffrey, Fox? Yeah, I, I thought that you know, we had a, a first time moderator. We had a new member of the select board. So it was sort of the new faces in the front of the room, but I think that it went smoothly. Um, and fortunately, we had some uh, experienced people in the audience who helped us get some of those budget, get a, some of that budget information out there through their questions. Um, but we will do a, a better job next year of getting that uh, presented ahead of time. Good. Anything else? 
comments from the peanut grass? I mean, the uh, residents? <laughs> this is your chance. Do oh, demos. 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 Go for it. You can do it. Okay. They got your back. Got your back. No, 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 no. All right. Without hearing any comments. Okay. <laughs> so. Scott um, isn't recognized. I don't know, uh, Mr. Chair, how many years uh, we worked together both professionally as well as uh, in the municipal circle. But I did send you a note earlier suggesting that this being the last meeting as a member of the select board, it's a great time to close a road and leave it up to these guys to figure out how to fix it. As as was done one time, this is deep in the weeds, when the town was petitioned about a road from a neighboring community and you happened to be on vacation and myself and Mike decided, declared an emergency, roads closed. You came back and you said politely, what? <laughs> anyway, it got done. And as so much has been done over the years uh, in your tenure, it's a matter of getting it done well with involvement. And so I couldn't be more happy for you and the team behind me to get more of your attention, although they might not want it, but we'll see. Like three weeks, four weeks? Yeah, three, three weeks. Three weeks, three weeks, three weeks. And uh, I wish you the best in your endeavors uh, you, with the auxiliary as well as. Appreciate it. This side of the table. Yeah. Yeah, I thought Lauren, which Lauren said, you know, joining the other side of looking at them and being able to throw pop shots, that sounds like fun. But <laughs> well, someone's got to be able to take that rolled up warrant and go. <laughs> Mr. Moderator. <laughs> and I think well, you still do that. that. Will someone, it was like, Will, you're supposed to ask how much, you know, that was Russ Crenshaw's job, then it was passed to you, and he totally failed that. Walter okay, Strozik before that, and it was, and it was Walter, yeah. Walter Strozik before Walter. that, and then after Walter. And then Joe Bagden. Joe Bagden. Yep. She could sell ice to a s Eskimo. Yeah, he did the duty. Huh? Um, in fairness, uh, duty. Uh, those numbers were on a handout given to the people. True. In fairness to Will, I. In, All in, I can say is no one. definition known. of a warning. Got it. No one's. <laughs> you don't. You don't want the town clerk to call the inspector general's office with a question. And because the first thing the inspector general's office will say is, are the select board giving you a hard time? <laughs> and, and that is a true statement. Kate Gloves. Margaret. Can I speak? Absolutely. So, hi, nice to meet you. I'm, I'm Margaret. Nice to meet you, Margaret. <laughs> um, Retired. So, um, I spent 34 years. In, in public service, and I had spent um, several years in a town clerk's office before um, making the switch to town administration. And I thank um, Tom and the, the entire select board at that time, and, and of course Wendy, uh, for giving me that opportunity because it opened so many doors. But I just want to talk a little bit about Sunderland. Um, you know, at the time it was Tom, Scott, and Mike. Um, you know, the, the three, the three amigos. The three. <laughs> you all, no, you didn't always. There was not always consensus, but it was always respectful. Like you're, like you're saying, it was always respectful between the board. But what even struck me more, and what I learned so much from was that every member of the board brings their own bits of expertise to make a full board. So, um, Tom, I, I congratulate you on your 24 years on the select board. That's just amazing. And I respect any board member anywhere. It is not an easy job. It's a, it's a tough job um, because the responsibility of the town is, is on you. And so thank you all for your service. Tom, um, your, I can only imagine how much this town is going to miss your institutional, your cultural knowledge, your institutional knowledge, and um, your historical knowledge of the happenings in this town. You have got a memory that, you've got a memory like an elephant, first of all. You remember everything. So um, I know this is going to be a huge loss for the town. 
But I wish you all the best, and I wish you great adventures in your new chapter. I just, uh, thank you, Margaret, and I, just, and I would just said that Margaret made life easy for us. <laughs> all, our, our town administrators did. Jim Henry was here earlier. Remember Jim Henry? Vaguely, yeah. he, he was your he was your predecessor. He was here before Dane. Oh. Yeah. So you may so he, he was here. And, and 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 our town administrator, Dana, I mean, oh my gosh. I mean Dana, Dana came in, um, and, and every one of you had very unique skill sets. Very and, and they had very unique skill sets, uh, Sherry to Jeff, they're all, all different, but in but the combination of, of all the town administrators. And, 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 and I had a conversation, I said this before, I, I had a conversation with a, a select board member from a town to the north of us. And, and he was, he was um, not very happy with, with towns because they're paying town administrators too much money. And I go, why? I said, well, he, at the time, we were, we, we were paying Margaret $76,000 a year, I think. And they were paying their, town, their similar sized community, they were paying their town administrator 50. And I said, well, how, how much money do you get in grants this year? And he said, grants, grants, how do you expect us to get grants? We're, we're, we're too hard fight, blah, blah, blah. It goes on, they didn't get, get $20,000, he said. And I said, we got $3 million. So for twenty six thousand dollars more, right. we invested twenty six. And Scott was Scott Bergeron was a big proponent of this. For investing twenty six thousand dollars additional, we brought three million dollars worth of grants in. I, I I'll take I'll take investing twenty six thousand get back three million any single day. So, but that that that's what having professional people, Jeff, Margaret, that. You you change us. You change our community. Our, and 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 I think I I've, I've been fortunate. I've been working with with with, with uh, other board members that understand that we need to get out of the way, allow the professionals to do the job, and just offer guidance. And 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 when you have a question, we're there to help. And and we can't. We definitely can't run day to day operations. That's that's not our job. Uh, so, so you did. You, we we learned a lot from you, Martha. Um, the other thing. So, are we all done with this? Okay. So, already <laughs> closing. I know. But, but we, we 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 have a meeting Wednesday night uh, with the town of Deerfield to discuss uh, senior center housing going forward. So we're on tap for six thirty six. 6:30. All right, so we're going to be we'll be talk we we have to talk about we have to talk about that. Anything else? Good. Sure. No. <laughs> you know me, I don't talk a lot. So oh, no. it's going to be not off not on camera. Yeah. Well, off camera. That's a totally different thing. So, I'd like to start by saying thank you. We just don't even have the words to express our appreciation for everything you've done. And, and it, it goes on the list. So tonight marks 24 years of your career, your last meeting being a member of the Slack Board for Sunderland. You've been around for many of the changes in town. You were here when the roof collapsed at the grammar school. You were here for the public safety complex, the library, when 120 North Main Street was just a thought. You've been here for all of it, and that list goes on. We couldn't possibly name everything that you've done through the years here. You were here for South County EMS being formed. Um, and through it all, you've done this with honesty and sincerity. You've always had the best interest of the town, the town employees, and the community as a whole. And this is just a little story about when my son was in elementary school, he played basketball and you were a referee. And there was one day he comes and he slumps down on the bench and they had just lost horrifically. And he says, I wish Jim and Tommy were the referees for this game. And I was like, well, why? You guys lost. What would it matter? And he was like, because they're fair and they tell us what we did wrong. So here's a little elementary school child who saw your fairness. And, you know, they just... I've known you for a lot of years, I, you know, 
that on this, you know, fire department, ambulance, all these other things in town have always cross paths with you. Um, so you've helped me tremendously for my first two years here. I have a lot to learn still. I'm never going to deny that. And I just hope I can be half the person you were as a select board you member. Are. You are. Well, we'll see how that goes. You but, you know, I really appreciate everything. And along with the rest of us here in this room tonight, we wish you well in your retirement from this board. We know you're still going to be here and you're going to pick and choose the boards you want. And it's going to be great. Um, we are so grateful to keep your knowledge and your compassion for some of these things that are happening in Sunderland. And we'd like to thank Mary Ellen, Jackie, Jesse, for sharing your father, your husband with us. We know this is a huge time suck. He is all, um, you know, he's here all the time. He is involved with meetings. He's the go-to guy when someone has a question. And we really do appreciate, you know, you guys dealing with him being here for us. And we just wish you well. And I'm done. See, I said I'd keep it Good. short. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Man, and Jeff's got some gifts over there for you. Oh, I got a candle. <laughs> <laughs> a coin. Oh, and the coin. <laughs> and the mug. And the mug. I like the mug. And a history of Sunday. Oh. Oh. A special pandemic gift. Yeah. <laughs> Cleaned out the closet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. That is not for me. I'm oh. is, is this um, a candle well, sea salt scented? <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, I think it's, I think uh, it's supposed rivers? to be like sycamore no. scent. Uh, <laughs> uh, a button ball tree. I don't know what it smells <laughs> like. All right, so I will entertain a motion. You want to adjourn? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I motion we adjourn. Seconded. We have a motion made, seconded to adjourn. All those, any discussion? Without hearing any discussion, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, three zero, we're out at seven o'clock, Jeff. <laughs>